Our first dish is a whole grilled snapper with a Mexican grilled vegetable and pumpkin seed sauce called pipion. To cook it, we're using a big green egg, extra large. Now, I've loaded the firebox with natural lump charcoal. We'll intersperse the coals with mesquite wood chips. The mesquite will generate wood smoke, which will add extra flavor to the fish. Now, next step, another layer of coals and another layer of wood chips. To light the cooker, I'm gonna use these paraffin starters and place them amid the charcoal and light the paraffin starter with a butane match. And then you wanna take a couple of slender pieces of charcoal and steeple them over the fire. To grill the snapper, we're using the indirect grilling method. So we'll take this ceramic convection plate and place it in the grill. The grill grate goes on top. The twist here is we'll grill the snapper on these thick salt slabs. The salt provides extra flavor, and also you don't have to worry about the fish sticking to the grill grate. When you work with a salt slab, you always want to preheat it slowly. If you heat it too fast, it may crack. Make sure the bottom vent is open wide, top vent is open wide. We want to bring the temperature up to about 400 degrees. Now the fish. I'm using beautiful red snapper. They're about two pounds a piece. The first thing you want to do is trim off and discard the fins. Be careful, these are very sharp. Next, Using a sharp knife, make a series of parallel incisions. This will help the fish grill evenly. Now, open the fish and season the cavity with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. And then stuff the cavity with thinly sliced onion, thinly slivered garlic, fresh cilantro sprigs, and finally, some thinly sliced poblano chili. The idea here is to flavor the fish from the inside out. You want to season the fish with coarse sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Do the other side the same way. Then we'll drizzle the fish with extra virgin olive oil and squeeze on a little fresh lime juice. Seasoning's super simple. The idea is to keep the focus on the flavor of the fish. And we're at 400 degrees. Those salt slabs have preheated. So you'll just place the fish on the salt slabs. And we'll also grill some fresh limes. Close the grill lid. Adjust the vent. You want to be at 400 degrees. Cooking time, about 30 to 40 minutes. Next comes the pipion, the grilled vegetable and pumpkin seed sauce. So I've set up another ceramic cooker for direct grilling. And as always, brush the grill grate clean and oil it. And you want to grill the vegetables to bring out a smoky, charred vegetable flavor. Poblano chili first, a quarter of an onion. These are called tomatillos, and they look like green tomatoes, but actually they're in the gooseberry and ground cherry family. We take off the papery husk and we'll place the tomatillos on the grill. And we'll grill two or three whole serrano chilies, four garlic cloves, scallions, and a couple of romaine lettuce leaves. The idea is we just want to char the vegetables on all sides. Pipion is a variation of the mole verde found throughout Mexico, and green is definitely the operative word here. The beauty of grilling the vegetables, the high dry heat caramelizes those plant sugars, bringing out the natural sweetness. So once the lettuce leaves are charred, Transfer them to a sheet pan to cool. Ditto for the scallions. Take off the serrano chilies and the garlic, nice and aromatic. The poblano chili actually puffs up as it roasts. The onion. 
Now the next step, heat a cast iron skillet on the fire, and then take your pumpkin seeds, add them to the skillet, and roast the pumpkin seeds until toasted and fragrant. Once the pumpkin seeds are toasted, you can see they're starting to brown, transfer the pumpkin seeds to a bowl to cool. Meanwhile, keep your frying pan hot. With your vegetables, cut them into one inch pieces. For the serranos, if you like a milder salsa, remove the seeds. And of course, if you like a spicier salsa, leave the seeds in. The garlic, remember to remove the toothpick. The tomatillos get quartered. And with the poblano peppers, scrape out the seeds. And if any parts of the skin are really burnt, just scrape that skin off and cut the poblanos into one inch pieces. And finally, slice the grilled onion. So there are your fire charred vegetables. Next, take your roasted pumpkin seeds and place them in a food processor. Place the lid on the processor and grind the pumpkin seeds to a fine powder. Once the pumpkin seeds are ground, add the grilled vegetables to the processor. Then add chopped fresh cilantro and chopped fresh parsley. Generous pinch of sea salt, freshly ground black pepper, and one of the defining flavors of Mexican cuisine, ground cumin. Puree the vegetables with the pumpkin seeds, adding enough water to obtain a thick but pourable sauce. I have heated the cast iron skillet and now we'll add a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And once the oil is hot, you actually fry the pepion mixture. So we'll transfer it to this hot skillet. And this frying of the pepion is a very traditional method of Mexican sauce making. It gives you an extra layer of flavor. And we can just add a little fresh lime juice, which always brings a sauce into focus. Stir that in. So transfer it to a trivet, let it cool. So here the fish has been roasting for about 30 minutes and you can see it's cooked the way I look. I check in these slits and the flesh it flakes when I press it. All right, here is your salt slab grilled snapper. Looks amazing. To fillet the fish, what I'm gonna do is make a cut through that slit and just slide the knife right along the top of the backbone. So there's your salt slab grilled snapper and a nice spoonful of the pepion sauce. Can't wait to try this one. So I'll take a bite of the fish first. Mm. The skin is crusty. The flesh is sweet. Got a nice smoke and salt flavor. Take a piece of fish, the pepion sauce. Mm earthy flavor of the pumpkin seeds, smoky sweet flavor from the charred vegetables. From Mexico to Texas, it's salt slab grilled snapper with pepion sauce.